Hi, Scorpio. I'm going to do your reading today. I'm Jennifer with Familiar Witch Tarot. I got the cards ready to go. Spirits, what's happening with Scorpio in the present? What's happening with Scorpio? Okay, in the present, you have the Ace of Wands. There's something that you're very passionate about that you want to get started. That is going to give you some stability. We're going to clarify the cards after I get them all laid out. Okay, and what's crossing you? You have the Four of Wands. This can be a marriage. What happened in the past, spirits? In the past, you have the Eight of Cups. This is someone walking away from a lot of love, something that took years, could be years to build, but they put a lot of time, effort, and love into this. And in the recent past, the Two of Wands, you made a huge decision on something in the recent past. What are Scorpios thinking about, spirits? You have the King of Cups. You could be thinking about um, a water sign, like yourself. But um, this is a lot of love that you're thinking about. Okay, and in the near future, you have the Six of Swords, so you could be moving into calmer water, leaving a situation. What are Scorpio's faring spirits? Nine of Wands, something that you're fe feeling really defensive about, Scorpios. How are other people viewing Scorpios? You have the Page of Wands. You're um, probably getting ready to go and start something new that you have a lot of passion for, that you're excited about. What are Scorpios hoping for, spirits? There's something that you have a wish for with the star card, a new beginning. And what's going to happen in the future, spirits? Okay, in the future you have the two of swords. There's something that, <clears throat> that you're going to have to make a huge decision on that you may feel blindfolded to, like you don't know all the answers. And on the bottom of the deck, you have the Knight of Swords, so there's going to be a lot of communication. You will be getting communication from someone. Okay, and let's clarify your cards, Scorpio. Spirits, what's happening in the present for Scorpio? Okay, so to clarify, the Ace of Wands and the Queen of Pentacles, this is a new beginning with um, something that you're very passionate about. I think it has something to do with work, because then you get the Three of Pentacles, to clarify that, and you have the Queen of Pentacles, so this is money, stability. 
second one more card to clarify you know something you've been working on and waiting for that has to do with money what's crossing Scorpio I see this coming in for you if it's something that you're waiting for Scorpios a job or something that brings money okay and then to clarify the four of wands this can be a marriage a happy home um, you have the three of swords so there's something that's that you're feeling heartbroken about that has to do with your marriage or your home what happened in the past why is the eight of cups here okay in the past to clarify this eight of cups someone walking away you get the four of cups so this is some somebody's offering the other person a cup of love and the other person is just not happy with this offer and ignoring it what happened in the recent past why is the two of wands here okay so to clarify the two of wands you are like at a crossroads trying to make a decision a very important decision decision um to clarify that you get the six of cups and so this decision could have something to do with someone from your past let's get one more card to clarify the recent past spirits what happened in the recent past And then you get the Queen of Wands. This is something that you have a lot of passion for. This person from the past. And um, this person has a lot of passion for you too. They find you very beautiful, but you had to make an I don't know if you made this decision yet but we'll move on you were left making a decision at a crossroads what are Scorpios thinking about why is the king of cups here what are Scorpios thinking about it's had a whole bunch of cards fall out Scorpio so. I think you have a lot on your mind. What are Scorpios thinking about? Okay, so we get the Ace of Pentacles. Let's get one more for Spirits. What are Scorpios thinking about? The Two of Pentacles. So to clarify this King of Cups, I feel like this is you, Scorpio. You are full of love and emotions, except for you're not showing it right now. And to clarify that, you have the Ace of Pentacles and the Two of Pentacles. There's something that you want to get started, something that's going to bring in great financial stability in the future. That you're like trying to balance this out and decide how you want to do it but it has really great potential it's going to bring in a lot of money and stability what's going to happen in the near future starts why is the six of swords here Okay, and 
wanted to clarify the Six of Swords. This is you moving into calmer water. You're wanting to move away from something. You're wanting to move away from something because I feel like there's information that you don't know that's um, like you're not seeing clearly. You're just, you just don't know all the answers to this. And so um, you're wanting to move forward, pick a path, a new path where you're at the crossroads. And then to clarify that, you have the two of wands. So this is you standing at the crossroads again in the near future. And I see you choosing a new path. Get one more card to clarify the near future for Scorpio. Yeah, and then you get the Hierophants and the Three of Cups. You want something more than what's on your path right now, Scorpio. And it's going to make you very happy. There's going to be a great celebration in the near future. I see you really happy here with the Three of Cups. Because you want something more. You want to get off of this path that you're on. And move into your happiness. Okay. And what are Scorpio's? Bearing spirits. Why is the Nine of Wands here? This in your affairs position is something that you're feeling very guarded about. What are Scorpio's bearing spirits? Okay. So to clarify this Nine of Wands. Um, you have the Ten of Wands and the Eight of Wands. There's, you're worried about all of, a lot of communication coming towards you when you drop all of these burdens that you've been carrying for a really long time. You're worried about people, like, coming after you, people accusing you of things. And you're feeling very defensive about it. But you want to drop these burdens. You've been carrying these burdens for a really long time. It's too much. How are other people seeing Scorpios? Why is the Page of Wands here? Okay, so to clarify the Page of Wands, where this is you leaving and starting something new, um, this is going to bring in financial security and stability, and people are seeing you this way, financially stable. They could, with the Seven of Swords and the Moon, I feel like people are seeing you as withholding information. Like there's something, you're keeping stuff to yourself. You're not telling everybody everything when it comes to this new start. What are Scorpios hoping for? Why is the star card here, spirits? Why is the star card here? Okay, so to clarify the star card, this is a wish that you have, a new beginning. 
you get the world. This is you entering into a new cycle, giving up on the past, and just starting a whole new cycle. Just letting everything go, dropping this Ten of Wands and starting brand new. Um, that's what you're hoping for. This is a wish, and um, you're being patient with this, waiting for things to come in line, trying to balance things out. And what's going to happen in the future? Why is the Two of Swords here, Spirits? So to clarify, the Two of Swords, this is a decision that you need to, that you, you will be making in the future, that you are feeling kind of blindfolded on. You don't know all the answers of everything, but you are going to move forward and make the decision. Um, because you're, with the Eight of Swords, you're feeling stuck in the future, and so you want to... You want to make a decision and end something and move into this new cycle. And um, I see you getting an offer here with the Knight of Pentacles. It's um, something that has to do with your long-term stability and your money. And then you have the King of Pentacles. So in the future, whatever this offer is, that has to do with money. It's going to be very stable and secure. You're going to have a lot of stability. I see good money coming in with this. And you taking a leap of faith on the bottom of the deck. And the Six of Wands. So you will have victory. And um, you, you will be noticed by other people when you take this leap of faith it's a brand new beginning that you're going to be starting into Scorpio and let's get a couple of important messages for you from the romance angel cards let's shuffle one more time Spirits, what does Scorpio need to know? What does Scorpio need to know? Let go of control issues. Allow this situation to unfold naturally. And... True love, this is the romance of a lifetime. Release your ex, the time has come to clear your energy. And on the bottom of the deck you have unrequited love. There's not enough attraction or chemistry to keep this relationship going. I hope that there were some messages in here for you to, to help you out, Scorpio, and I will see you next time. Bye.